everybody welcome back welcome back so y'all love the dually wheels back here so uh we got we got our one two three four five piece mail set in got her all in today so we're gonna throw on the five piece mail set and uh, i think you're all gonna like it very well flip you around here and show you all what it is yeah there it is it's old rough country uh tire shining kit <laughs> to shine up the old duels no i'm just kidding it's a six inch lift kit the biggest one they had got our old coil springs there uh i don't mean what this is oh the pitman arm steering stabilizer shocks we got our coil springs, nice and shiny, I tell you that. And then, a whole bunch of brackets. But yeah, that's what that is. Whoa, we got old Thomas over here helping us today. But uh, I'll probably show a little bit of what we're doing, probably not a whole bunch, because it's not an install video. We're just throwing it on, because install videos are boring. So we're not gonna do that. But, yeah, we'll show you a little bit, like, what stuff we had problems with and any special tools you need. It's pretty straightforward. It's real easy. These old trucks are easy to put stuff on. So, uh, we'll see you throughout the install. All right, so it's day two. What? 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 Jack Wagon. What do you want? So, I was up till four in the morning working on this thing. Uh... Had lots of difficulties. Yeah, got the one side on here. Uh, ran into some difficulties over here on the other side. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let me show you. Well, I can't show you on the other camera, on the back camera, because I broke it. And then it's all blurry, so <clears throat> that's what it looks like right there. Yeah, that's what it looks like. With the six inch lift, this side's on. And then we walk over here. And uh, yeah, this side is not done yet. Yeah, so we broke this radius arm here. So we gotta pull this bolt out. I got a new radius arm at O'Reilly's right now. And uh, what else happened? That was difficulty. Yeah, don't try to cut this thing off. That thing does not come off. This thing bolts to it. We didn't know that. And we grinded that thing off. Tried grinding it off for like three hours. Yeah, that thing does not come off. So we got the brackets all bounded up. We got all the brackets. I need to get the pitman arm off still. Uh, we got to pull this bolt out. Get a new uh, radius arm. And then we should be good. So uh, I'll get back with the... Uh, when uh, we get this side somewhat on. All right, so we got our springs here, and look at that. That's like a six inch difference. Like, holy cow, I wonder why it's like a six inch difference. I mean, it's just a six inch lift, but yeah, that's like six inches bigger. Heck yeah, let's put this boy on. Oh, but yeah, here we go. We got the new radius arm on there. It was a little bit big. Oh. It was a little bit bigger than this arm here, so had a custom made uh, spacer there, so it fit nice and tight. So let's get the springs and shocks on here, and then we should be good to go. All right, so we're stuck in the shop here. He's got a little tight of a fit, so he's gonna maneuver it with his forklift here. A little more. Just gonna swing, <laughs> swing the rear end right around. Oh yeah. There she is. Let's try her.
So, uh, <clears throat> we're driving her now. It's a little bit out of line, as you can see. Yeah, right there is going straight. Yeah, it's a bit out of line, just a little bit. Just a little bit. But it's fine. I'll fix it later. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I would have made like more footage, but. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have done more footage, but uh, it wouldn't be an install video. It'd be how to break stuff and snap bolts and break stuff. That's all the video would be: with breaking stuff and snapping bolts and using forty-three thousand cans of WD-40. So uh, it was. It took. It said it took about six to eight hours to install. It took me twenty-four. Ended up snapping the radius arm. <clears throat> the stupid bolt took three hours to find. The three quarter inch bolt that's 10 inches long. How hard is that to find it? Yeah. Apparently really hard. Looked all over. Finally found one after 13 hours. Stupid. <clears throat> it, it needs some spacers in the it needs some spacers in the front for sure. It's just not wide enough. It looks like a I don't I don't even know. Looks stupid. If you have a clapped out piece of garbage like mine, I do not recommend putting a lift on it. It takes way too much time. I didn't even have enough time to put the rear on. Because <clears throat> my dad wanted me out of the shop and blah, blah, blah. He had to get some stuff and I was in the way, so. Couldn't put the rear on. Rear's fairly easy. That's why I said about the front, as it took me 43,000 years to put on. Stupid. Holy cow, there's a lot of people out here driving for being essential driving. Idiots. Huh. I don't really notice any difference in performance or anything. Yeah, I don't know how people with squatted trucks can really see, honestly. It's kind of hard. You can't see anything. This thing's not squatted that much. Uh, so I think whenever I have time, I'll throw the rear on. But I don't know, I kind of like it squatted. The dualies and everything, it's not bad. <clears throat> but yeah, some people said it was gonna ride like garbage. Rides fine to me, uh, suspension wise, <clears throat> it's the same. It's not bad actually, I like it. Except for I have one concern, just one, just one. On the Pittman arm, it would not come off. Whatever you did, it would not come off. So, where it hooked onto the gearbox, I took a grinder and grinded it. Right there, like on the outside of the ring where it slides on, I had to grind that. And uh, kind of got into some of the threads and the splines on the gearbox. But, uh, what's this guy honking for? Oh, he's talking to some kids over here playing frisbee golf. Get at her, bud. Get at her. What was I even talking about? Before the semi guy interrupted me. I forget. I don't know. Oh, yeah, the pitman arm. <clears throat> we got into the splines and the threads. So I kind of just pounded the pitman arm on there. And I cross-threaded the heck out of the bolt for the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Bolt for the steering arm there. I just crossed it the crap out of it. I put tons of force onto it. I had a breaker bar on it with the like extended handle off the jack. Slid that on there. I know y'all have done that at least 30 times in your life. But yeah, I torqued that thing down to spec. I mean, it's not loose or anything, so it must be fine. So hopefully the whole steering rack just doesn't fall off while I'm driving. Thanks for joining today. Uh, be prepared what's next for this old gal. So, see y'all in the next one.